Okay, it's beer o'clock here on the Real Ale Guy. Today's beer is a beer from the Flat Cap Brewing Company or Flat Cap Beers. It's a craft brewed British pale ale by the name of Ted. Very happy looking guy. Um, I'll give you a little bit of bump on just a plain silver cap. I'll give you a bit of bump on Ted in a moment. We'll get sniffing and drinking and concentrating on the beer first though. The beer was kindly sent to me by bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. Make sure to check these guys out. I've had some really, really interesting beers from them and very, very nice at the same time. What I mean interesting, I'm not avoiding the fact that they haven't been nice, they've been fantastic but also as I just mentioned very interesting because just this beer here I've got in my hand, I've not tried anything from the brewery and I think it's a big part of my, the reason what gives me the enthusiasm to, um, to, to produce these beer reviews is to try different beers from different breweries and when you get a pack of beer from a, from a online beer company you never quite know what you're going to get so I suggest have a look, have a little look at these companies this is another as I say a new brewery for me flat cap beers the colour of the beer then is it's an it's a amber amber colour the carbonation's rising very slowly from the bottom not too much carbonation let's get a nose on the beer then Mmm, smells a little hoppy, but then again it's, a, it's described as a, a British pale ale, not an American one, so we're not, we're not expecting massive amounts of hops here. Smells slightly malty, which again I, was, I would expect. Best thing to do I think is just to get straight into this beer and give it a try. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. This is a complete malt bomb. It is it's the mouthfeel is luxury it's it's like it's kind of it's kind of thick and and and, and graspy like you know it's thick it's luxurious the malts that hit you in this beer are just immense it's, it's not freshly baked bread, it's not that maltiness. It's more of a a really nice uh, you know this is quite difficult to to pull completely. Because a lot of it's the the, the hops as well that are mixed in. I'm picking up cherry. I'm picking up dark fruits. I'm picking up, see the colour of the beer, I'm picking up caramel, it's a caramel malt, but it's such an unusual kind of flavour in the beer that it's mixing these dark forest fruits and like cherry is mixing with the caramel, it's almost like there's, there's so much going on that it really is quite challenging it is quite challenging to to pull out but it's it's a lovely lovely beer let's talk about the carbonation then because it's it it is carbonated look you can see the the 
the bubbles rising just quite steadily their own natural kind of easy going pace but when you when you when the beer hits your tongue there's that initial small kind of fizz on your tongue but it's not massive it's not huge where you have a mouthful and it completely fills your stomach it goes down a treat it really does it doesn't bloat you at all but there's enough to give you that lively kind of zing sweet malt caramel cherry bitter British bitter British bitter hops dark forest fruits as I keep mentioning right we're six minutes in let's give you a, a little bit of a history about Mr. Ted here but before I do that let's see if it's a bottle condition beer Isn't isn't Ted born to Russian immigrant parents? Ted grafted his way to Cambridge, where after achieving a double first in enigmatology, he was recruited by MI5. Now, if you're watching in America, MI5 is kind of like the Navy SEALs type people. They're the, the higher kind of like the Marines type thing. Secret Service and all that jazz. Um, caught in a compromising position in the the Urals whilst turning the KGB agent goat, Ted's life took a surreal twist. Read more at flatcapbeers.com forward slash Ted. So they're directing you to the website to have a... But he, he was some kind of British kind of MI5 KGB agent. A unique, light, yet full flavour beer with a terrific hoppy body, a refreshing citrus aroma and long, sharp, bitter finish. I didn't get that citrus aroma. Um, as I said earlier on, it was quite a, um, a difficult beer to, to pull the aroma out of. It was better just to try the beer, get it, get it, um, get it drunk, get it drunk really and taste it. Okay, the ingredients are Maris Otto Barley. Challenger, Cascade. Do you know Challenger and Cascade? It's not massive. It's not. Again, more, I, I, as I described it earlier, more of a malt bomb for me, this one. Um, Goldings and Fuggle hops. And then there's an allergy advice. Flat. Catbeers.com, check these guys out. I like the beer, it's very, very nice. The reason why I like it is I think they got the carbonation level absolutely perfect. It's not streaming with carbonation, it's enough, as I said, to, to hit your stomach and not gas you out. You could really lawn mow with this beer if you want. You just cut the grass with a lawn mower, you're hot, you're sweaty, you want a beer. Bang, you really could sink that like a juice. Um, there's enough flavours to carry on to give this a really, really solid appeal. As yet, I haven't given the ABV. It's 5% ABV. Let's give you a final thought and a rating then on Ted. It's juicy, it's singy, in, in a dark forest fruit way. It's more leading to the hop, to the malt than it is the hops. There's a, is it, there's a notable bitterness in the back. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty decent beer. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for the real ale guys. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Thanks to bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. Make sure to check these guys out for all these weird and wonderful beers. Um, but thanks for watching, subscribe if you like, and cheers.